Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Wang Xiaohui for China.org.c. Although this year's two sessions has been postponed for more than two months due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it is still of great significance to China's political, economic, and social development as euro. A priority on the agenda of the two sessions is to deliberate a draft decision of the National People's Congress on establishing and improving the legal system and the law enforcement mechanism in Hong Kong's special administrative region to safeguard national security and authorize the NPC Standing Committee to make law against the behaviors in Hong Kong that endanger national security, such as the secession, subversion of state power, and orchestration and the performance of terrorist activities, as well as foreign interference in Hong Kong affairs. <music> Hong Kong has been in turmoil since a proposed extradition bill sparked unrest last year. The opposition deliberately distorted the content of the bill, inciting demonstrations and violent acts. Rioters vandalized government offices. The Legislative Council of the Hong Kong SAR and public facilities, and assaulted police officers and even ordinary residents. Some external forces took advantage of the incidents to create more conflicts, causing the violence to escalate. As a result, Hong Kong, once the safest city in Asia, found itself in serious social disagreement with its economy, people's livelihood, and the investment environment taking a hard hit. Violent activities that disrupt Hong Kong's economic and social order haven't stopped. Moreover, with the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, Hong Kong is facing grimmer challenges. Hong Kong's economy is predicted to shrink by 4 to 7 percent, possibly the worst since the 1960s. Under such circumstances, the central government has the responsibility, obligation, and power to protect Hong Kong from internal disturbances and external interferences. This represents the common aspirations of the people. No country in the world would turn a blind eye to behaviors that endanger its national security. Hong Kong, as a special administrative region of China, can have different economic system and ways of social governance from those of the Chinese mainland. However, double standard should not be tolerated in the matter of safeguarding national security. The draft decision of the NPC aims at closing Hong Kong's legal loopholes in an effort to better safeguard national security. Chinese laws forbid any behavior or activity that amounts to secession, subversion of state power, orchestration, and the performance of terrorist activities, or foreign interference in Hong Kong affairs. Only with overall national security of the country can Hong Kong's security and the freedom be better guaranteed and the principle of one country, two systems be truly implemented. We have every confidence to help Hong Kong residents restore the prosperity, stability, freedom, and the security of their city, and regain the glamour of the Pearl of the Orient as early as possible. Thank you for watching.